What's up, crew? It's Chris with Clover Tack, and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a good one for you, another accuracy battle. We're going to put the Gerson Gen 4 Regard up against the Beretta 92FS. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that out here on our range, we have to deal with the birds and the bugs and the wind and the fat boy's sweat and the loud neighbors and the traffic noise and the fact that my camera microphone does not always pick up the muzzle report of the firearm. Now, the Gerson Regard Gen 4 is a really good replica copy, if you will, of the Beretta 92, particularly this Beretta 92 FS. Now the first thing we're going to do, like we do with all the accuracy battles, is we're going to put a few rounds at downrange and see what kind of numbers we get out of these handguns through the chronograph. And the ammunition we're going to be using for this is going to be some Remington UMC 115 grain full metal jackets. Going to start off the chrono testing with the Gerson Regard Gen 4. Before we do any live fire safety first, got my eyes on, let me put my ears in and we'll be ready to go. Ten twenty three. Ten twenty one. Eleven seventy nine. Ten forty six. And ten ten. And now let's move on to the Beretta ninety two FS. Eleven eighty seven. Eleven eighty seven. Eleven eighty five. Eleven eighty six. And eleven eighty five. So those were definitely some interesting results from the chronograph. I'm not going to bother throwing them up on the screen. Pretty easy to tell that with that testing, their Gerson Regard, which again, interesting because we're talking about virtually the same barrel length. The Gerson Regard going to have a lower average velocity. And also the Gerson Regard is also going to have more deviation from one shot to the next. So if we go by the numbers on that chrono test, it looks like the Beretta 92 FS does have just a slight advantage. So let's put a few rounds down range on paper. We're going to start out with the Gerson Regard Gen 4. 10 yards down range, I have a target posted. It's got two bullseyes. We're going to fire the Gerson Regard at the bullseye on the right and the Beretta at the bullseye on the left. And for the first time ever here on the Clover Tech channel, and certainly in an accuracy battle, we're going to be using the multi cow Steady Rest from Ransom International. 92 FS, then we'll go down range and take a look at the target. 10 20, 10 21, 11 79, 10 41, 11 79, 10 42, 11 43, 11 44, 11 45, 11 46, 11 48, 11 49, 11 50, 11 51, 11 52, 11 53, 11 54, 11 55, 11 56, 11 57, 11 58, 11 59, 11 60, 11 59, 11 59, 11 59, 11 59, Beretta on the left, the Gerson on the right. And right away we look at the Gerson and we see those three that's kind of really close together. Uh, I believe that's going to be the trigger, honestly, on that Gerson. Uh, I've said all along since pretty much taking that Gerson regard out of the box that the trigger is better than any stock anyway. Uh, Beretta, Taurus, whatever variant of the 92 model you could think of that trigger is just 
way better. The reset's better. The brake is better. Everything just seems to be better. And I think that's why we're getting that uh, really tight grouping on those three shots. But overall, if we look at the uh, five shot groups as a whole, pretty similar. So that's going to be, I think, indicative of them being very close uh, to exactly the same design. I believe something interesting uh, that we look at here also is that point of impact. Point of aim was about a six o'clock hold on the red portion of that target. And those points of impact, those groups, as far as points of impact go, are really similar with both the Beretta as well as that Gerson Regard. So as far as accuracy on paper goes, I think we can pretty much call this one a draw. So there you go. There's the accuracy battle between the Gerson Regard Gen 4 and the Beretta 92FS. Even though this accuracy battle was pretty even, Steven, I gotta say, I'm impressed how the Gerson Regard Gen 4, with its much lower MSRP price point, held its own against the Beretta 92FS. And I would love to hear your thoughts on that too, so hit me up in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.